Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Today's video is going to be crazy. The only reason I know this is because I've made a video similar to this one before. I don't know if you guys were watching me back in December, but around Christmas time I got sent a hamper and it was filled with a load of Christmas stuff for me to show to you guys, which you guys might have been interested in to send your relatives or friends at Christmas time. And that was possible because of a company called Social Network Solutions, which basically is a network of brands that are in one place that you might be interested in yourself. It's kind of like watching somebody show a haul, whereas I don't know what's going to be in there and you don't know what's going to be in there, so it's slightly a bit more exciting. So, the sleeves are up. They wanted to send an Easter hamper. I am so overwhelmed, incredibly, incredibly grateful. And side note, if any of you are interested, if there is anything which I'm not going to use and I know that I'm not really into, I will be giving it to charity. I did this for my last hamper. There was a few bits and pieces which were good products, but it just wasn't me. That's just a heads up, because I feel like a lot of bloggers aren't really as authentic as that, and they claim to enjoy everything they get given. So what have we got today? Ah! I've never been given an Easter hamper before. There's a little label that says Happy Easter. I thought it was a typo at first. I thought it was supposed to say Happy Easter. But then I realised, oh yeah, Hoppy. Oh, I've never done this before. Oh, it has an adorable little peg with an Easter bunny on it. Oh my god, and it's floral. <gasps> this is nice. I could wear this as a hairband. No. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. So where do we start? Okay. There's a little... Dear Ellie, Happy Easter from Social Network Solutions. It's all about spring flings and Easter things right now, and we want to see you into the new season with our very own SLS hamper. We hope you like it and enjoy showcasing some of our favourite brands. All gifts come complete with a direct link and some exclusive promotional codes for your followers. Don't forget to take a look at our website so you can see all the exciting campaigns we've been involved in this year. And you can use the links down there in my description to take you to all of the things that you're going to be seeing in this video, plus some promotional codes, so discounts. Oh, I love a discount. Have a hippity hoppity easter love the sns team okay can we just talk about this right now i'm so happy that this is easter themed because i love bunny rabbits they make me so happy i can never have enough mugs i'm such a mug hoarder i don't have a kitchen table anymore i just have a table with mugs on it this is from the company graduate collection oh we've got some easter eggs in here and a little pink chick Oh. oh, I really love how it looks quite like it's hand drawn, shabby chic. I don't know, I get that vibe. What else should we look at? Oh no, oh my god. Oh, I've just spotted this. What this is, is a brand which I just dropped. <laughs> oh god. Professional blogger, L. Beaumont. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's Ellie Beaumont. Anyway, I do know that I'm wearing their watch at the moment already. <laughs> if this is another watch, I'm going to be the happiest person on planet Earth because this watch came in my Christmas hamper that I got given and I have worn it every day since. Do, 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 do. Oh my God. Oh. I look at their Instagram all the time and just look at all the watches in awe and just be like, ah, oh, watches. Oh. oh, I think it's blue. Ah, oh, that's cute. I see this as much more of a daytime watch. It's blue. I've never owned something like this before. For. and it's very springy oh i'm so happy to own another one of their watches i'm such a happy bunny get it happy bunny next this is a piece of jewelry not only have i got some tattoos which are gorgeous may i just say once again i'm not the best with pronouncing but i believe it's olia olia London. And I believe these are bracelets and they are precious. They do go so well together though. But actually, if I put these with the tattoos, it goes quite well with my cardigan. Must have planned it. Didn't really. Oh, what's this? New Magic Minerals Bronzer. <gasps> I'm in need of a new bronzer. Desperately. <laughs> I've actually really been looking out for bronzer. Oh! Ooh! 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 And you can mix up the way you use it. So for endless possibilities, use the powder on your face as your eyeshadow or even your lipstick. The All Seasons bronzing set has got you covered. This is really interesting. I'll definitely be including this in future makeup tutorials when I start getting to know how to use it. Once again, why are all brands so difficult to pronounce? Jerome Alexander? I don't know. But she looks beautiful and I want to look beautiful and bronzed. And as you guys know, bronzer is my favourite part of putting on makeup. Oh, there's little chicks in here. Next is this box. Ta-da! She did it. She conquered the box. Pantyhose. Another complicated brand to pronounce. Pendeza. 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 Oh, 
I've got two sheer pantyhose with reinforced toe. That's important. Makes them last longer. Okay, so I feel like this is those amazing tights that not only make you look a little bit more tanned than I actually am, and they also give you that airbrush type look when, you know, you actually look like you do on Instagram or something because you've got filter on your legs. <laughs> Next, we've got this little box, which is wrapped up so cutely. Hi, Ellie. Best wishes from all at jewellery4.com. That's a simple brand. I can pronounce that one. Well done. <laughs> It's Ted Baker. Oh, this just feels incredible. And inside, oh, this is dainty, darling. Oh, I really wore the right thing today because everything I'm getting seems to go with my cardigan. Oh, look at this gorgeous rose gold necklace. It's got a little love heart on it. And it has a tiny little Ted Baker writing on the bottom. I really want to keep this bag. Maybe I could, you know, use it as my pillow. Next up, we have this, which I have no idea what it is. Specifically designed for coffee, this double-ended spoon is ideal for reaching into those deep jars or bags. This is from a place called Barrister & Co. It's a measuring spoon. This is one tablespoon, and that is two tablespoons. For measuring spoons is one of those things that everyone needs, but you always forget to buy, and then you don't realise you need one until you're cooking something and you're like, damn it! But this is really gorgeous. It's just a very rose gold hamper. I'm holding this like I'm about to attack somebody with it. Gorgeous. Next, I want to look at this. Moorlands Glastonbury. I think they're slippers. Oh my god, they're soft as heck, whatever they are. Oh! They go with my hair. So good. Look at the inside. It's so fluffy. I wish you could feel, feel the fluffiness. I was just about to check if the other shoe was the same colour then. I mean, it'd be pretty weird if it wasn't. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, incredibly soft. Oh. You don't understand. I also feel like a pixie. They're definitely the type of shoes you want to be wearing at this time because they're not boots and they're incredibly fluffy and gonna make your feet sweat because it's getting warmer now. So it's just the right balance. Cozy and comfortable, not sweaty and hot. <laughs> Fabulous. Eee, what's next? Oh, look at this bag. Oh, this bag comes from Ilex London. It's so beautiful. We have a bag in a bag to keep the bag safe. Whee! This is a colour which I feel like I would be really nervous about. I reckon I'll grow to love it. Does it suit me? Definitely. I mean, because I wear dark tones, you can wear a statement piece to go with anything. But once again, they are sticking with the spring themed and I feel like this does scream spring. Got some worms. Dr. Pawpaw, original balm, a multi-purpose soothing balm with natural fermented pawpaw. Lip, skin, hair and beauty finishing, cuticles and nails. Relief for dry, irritated skin, moisturises lips, nails and cuticles. Soothes dry, cracked skin such as hands, heels and elbows. Used for adding finishing touches to hair and smoothing brows. Helps with insect bites. What doesn't it do? This sounds magical. It is odourless. Oh, me oh my, it feels good. <laughs> I like multi-purpose things because it means you don't have to put as much stuff in your bag. Look this brand up if you're interested. I really want to put this on my lips, but I'm wearing lipstick. <laughs> Another thing from Barrister & Co, which will go with my measuring spoon. Oh my God. Beautiful equipment so you too can pair your own perfect blend by hand and in the comfort of your own home. There's no need for sophisticated coffee machines. Okay, this is going to sound like I'm just saying it because I'm on film, but I am genuinely so excited about this because I've been looking for a coffee maker. I have so much coffee in my house that you're actually supposed to, you know, make in a coffee machine properly. And now I can make proper coffee. My mum's going to be excited about this too because we both love our coffee. So it gives you instructions on how to make it, which is really important because I have no idea. I will probably be updating you guys on my experience as a professional coffee maker. We've got a bag from Seams. Oh, they sent me more hand cream. They sent me this in my last hamper video for Christmas and I'm using it so much. It's so good. It's basically for every age or skin type and it just, just softens your hands and it's non-greasy and it's just perfect. I've already got hand cream on, but you know, this stuff is so good. And it's got a really nice fragrance to it. Some people don't like hand cream with fragrances, but I kind of do because you put it on and then you forget later on that you put this on and then you smell perfume throughout the day and you're like I smell good scent loves love it I also got a cut and blow dry gift certificate to Brooks and Brooks hairdressing in London and a go G go G go G 
Goji fitness plan for free. I'm trying my best to change a lot of my lifestyle at the moment because I'm aware I'm, pu I'm putting on weight. And last but not least, oh no, Alco olives. And they're alcohol infused olives. It's gin. I don't know how I feel about that because I don't really like olives. We've created a new exciting and unique way for you to enjoy your olives. Nothing in the world is made like or tastes like this award winning London dry gin. Because I don't like olives, I'm not going to be trying this. Fast forward an hour or so, I decided to actually try these instead of chickening out. There are only two things in the world and that is beetroot and olives that I cannot stand. This is actually a big deal. But I'm optimistic, I'm open minded. God. I can't believe I'm doing this. My. My. Okay. My, my. I don't understand how people like olives. They taste like bogeys. I can see how somebody who likes gin and olives would love that but not for me. <laughs> but this is a really unique gift idea and I feel like this will be good for people who not only love olives, because I can think of plenty of people who do, but even more so, people who love alcohol. <laughs> Let me know if you've ever tried something like this before. So that is the end and some little baby chicks. I love the basket as well. I'm definitely going to be using that. I'm a sucker for packaging. And I hope some of this stuff was interesting to you guys and maybe you could have a look at some of the links below. Treat yourself, it's Easter, it's your holiday. Go out, go bananas. I love you guys so much. Make sure you stay in contact with me and maybe you can see me trying out some of this stuff on my social media such as my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram or you can subscribe and stay tuned on this channel and be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you very soon. Love you so much. Happy Easter. Have a good one. Go out and see your family. Eat lots of chocolate. I just love Persian cuisine. I'm now taking him back to the hotel, which he hasn't seen yet. He hasn't seen the hotel we're staying at, and it's 11 p.m. Did you enjoy your present? <laughs>